welcome to marketing analytics course uh, this is dr shagat chatterjee from digisom id karapur who is taking this course for you and uh, this is probably the last video of this particular course <coughs> and we will in this particular uh, video i will be showing how to create this dashboard from a data set like this which is a scratch data set absolutely scratch so first thing i will do is i will delete all these things so i will delete <coughs> this particular dashboard and then all the individual uh, all the individual pages i will just delete them so that i can create a fresh one <coughs> so the first job when you create a dashboard is to just visualize what will be there in the dashboard so if you remember that we will have sales uh, per month at the top and then sales per uh, region and sales per sales person in the in, in somewhere and i will also have the so inverse size distribution <coughs> so let's create one by one these uh, charts so to do that we will use something called a pivot chart what is a pivot chart a pivot chart is something where you can put some values in the rows, some values in the columns, and and this whatever you put in rows and columns, it's better to be something which is <coughs> categorical, and then some values in the numeric, and those values can be a numeric sum or numeric average. We'll see. <coughs> so to start with, let's say what I have to do is I have to go to insert and then insert pivot table while doing this pivot table at least means before before you go ahead here you have to select any cell which is not blank <coughs> in the table and then you go to pivot table it will automatically capture the table if you want to if you do not know how to capture then you have to get this table range manually and then press ok so then it comes up with a new page <coughs> which is basically the so i will shift this one probably here that is what will help to see that <coughs> you see that there is something called that there is something called uh, the revenue <laughs> and then I want the year wise review or month wise. So, where will I get month from this order date? So, let's put it this here. <coughs> and put this revenue here. So, then what I have here is for every date there is how much revenue. Now, I don't want it a date wise, I want it month wise so select any date and then right click on it go to group and once i go to group it is saying that <coughs> these dates are starting at first of january 2014 and goes the last date is 30th of january 2014 so it is the 2014 data and how do you want to group? Do you want to group it based on seconds or minutes or hours or days or month or quarter or year? So let's say I want in months. So press OK. So now I have for various months, various sum of revenue. I can also make it average of revenue or something. <coughs> but I want the sum of revenue itself. If you want, let's say, along with this, you want the uh, the number of invoices that is getting generated. So you can bring in revenue and then change it to count of revenue. What did I do? I I dragged revenue once more and then I clicked here. Valuable set, valuable rate, rate, uh, settings and make it count. So count of revenue is basically how many invoices we have. <clears throat> okay, now if I try to plot this 
these two values in a, in a chart. Let's say I insert a pivot chart and the <coughs> So let's say this is one pivot chart that I want to make. If I press OK, the pivot chart will be made. But see, this count of revenue is coming very small. That is because the scales are different. So I will uh, include probably a different scale. So let's see whether that can be done or not. So how to include the second one, okay, or let's say this one itself, can I, can I shift the, so for my data series, <coughs> and here, I make it secondary access. If I now make this one as secondary axis, so now I have the values which are okay. So instead of stack bar chart, let's why don't I change the bar chart type and make it uh, it's a, a combo chart where the first chart and the second chart is this one is secondary axis and instead of clustered column. Yeah, this is clustered column, and this one is uh, also clustered column. Okay. And what can we do? Let's make it instead of uh, clustered column, let's make it a bar chart. Can it be done? Yes. Now, <clears throat> this is something which looks good, or the opposite. Make this line and make this bar so this looks good in my eyes so this is up to you how we will do the sum of the revenue and this thing and then i can probably to make it look better i can probably hide all the field buttons and then i can select this and reduce the gap width by let's say 25 percent and make this 25% which is a little bit fatter and then I can change probably the uh, colors also so I can make it uh, some other color the fill might be it's a green uh, or yeah this green it's a little bit better in my eyes and then this should this may come down so let's say the legend should come at the bottom. So let me just find out how to put it. <coughs> legend and move their position to bottom. Fair enough, there should be a chart title also. Okay, data levels do you want? It becomes clumsy, I will not want. Chart title. <clears throat> the title will be the monthly revenue and let's say number of invoices. That is one chart that we have created till now. Fair enough. <clears throat> so similar thing I will be doing. It's instead of monthly, exactly same. And I will I will just probably rename this one also. Okay, this is monthly so i might want to see the same thing for different regions and then different salespersons so what i will do is i will create a copy <coughs> and rename it as uh, salesperson now if you are using a older version of excel you should not create a copy, you should create another dashboard from here, like from inside the pivot chart and etc. So another pivot chart. But if you are using 2010, then it is okay. So anything which is let's say 
uh, Windows 2010 or 13, uh, this thing can be done. So now instead of month, okay, in the field list, it, it does not come, you have to select like this. Instead of order date, I want, <coughs> let's say, a salesperson. So I have the same values for the sales process. I can change this thing, the color I can change. Uh, the fill I am changing to a different color. Let's say here I will put orange. And this is revenue and number of inserts. Per sales person. So that gives me another chart. And if I do not want this kind of a chart, I can change the chart type also. So let's change the. Or can I do this? Now that looks very bad. Okay, Control Z, Control Z, and change chart type. <coughs> so here this one. Can I make a bar chart? Uh, no, because bar chart and line chart will not work together. So cancel. So let's let it be. Fair enough. So the next one is nothing but another thing, which is uh, move a copy and create a copy. And now instead of salesperson, this should be region. <coughs> And instead of salesperson here also, it should be region. This one is straightforward. So I have the count of under total revenue per region as well. So once I have this, I want the <coughs> other pivot table which is based on the count of revenue. <coughs> so which is based on the inverse size. So what is inverse size if you, if you understand. So inverse size is like I want to know between 0 to 100, 100 to 2000, sorry 0 to 1000, 1000 to 2000, 2000 to 3000 and so on. How many <coughs> these things are there. So the count is important. So instead of sum, I will put here count. So total this many revenues are there and of these are the values. So zero dollars there are three, <coughs> thirty-eight point five dollars there are two, seventy-one point seven six dollars there are one and so on. Now I have to group these guys up. So I will select any one and then group, right click and group. It is saying that it starts from two thousand zero, goes up to seven nine three eight by a jump of 1000. Will I go for that? So let's say OK. So it gives me this kind of a graph. And if I try to plot them in pivot chart, <coughs> I get something like this. So again I will remove this. So remove all higher all field settings. I will delete this one. I might remove this one. I might have <coughs> for my data series, I might reduce the percentage to let's say 25 percent again. And I can say that this is the <coughs> histogram of ticket size. Enough and I can name it histogram. So I have made all these uh, <coughs> graphs. One is monthly, and then there is a salesperson wise, there is region wise. Now my job is to put all of these things in a dashboard. <coughs> so I create a new sheet which is called dashboard. 
it's a blank sheet select all the cells and give a fill so let's say this is my fill back in now my job is to just copy and paste so copy this thing <coughs> and paste it here depending on my size requirement and etc I will size it and then salesperson I copy it and paste it here you can resize it based on your size requirement I'm just making it a little bit smaller it doesn't matter <coughs> so yes done it should I make it bigger a little bit fair enough and then I do the same thing with the region one <coughs> In the dashboard I copy the region and then I paste it and then resize it as per my requirement <coughs> and probably I also bring in this histogram okay so this is my histogram let me bring this one here <coughs> Okay, fair enough. This is my histogram. Let's resize this one a little bit. Now I need the filters. So what are the filters that I had? If you remember, I had the salesperson name. <coughs> you can have whatever filter you want. So analyze. Select any one of these charts and go to analyze. And there is something called insert slicer. Available from Excel 2007 onwards. Before that, it is not available. So, insert slicer. It is not insert filter, it's insert slicer. And let's say I need this <coughs> suspension and region. So, when I just press OK, these two slicers come up. This slice number one, and this one is slicer number two. So let me show you what they do. Now, if I select this region and the, the graph changing, if I select the salesperson name, the graph is again changing. But you see that only one graph is changing. This graph, this graph, and this graph is not changing. And why is that? Because these three graphs are not connected with the slicer. When I inserted the slicer, I selected this particular graph, not the other three graphs. So there is some way I have to connect this two slicer with the other three graphs. Easy, right click on it. There is something called report connections. Check all these things. Again, right click on it. There is something called report connections. Check all the three. Once you do that, now it gets connected with all the slices. So if I select this, everything gets selected. If I select multiple, again all the charts are getting selected. So now I have created a true interactive dashboard. I can make it bigger in size. And you can share this kind of a slide dashboard with your boss or whoever to demonstrate the result to diagnose the result further so this kind of a dashboard is very easy to make in excel similar thing you do it in uh, when the data size is much bigger and and more complex you can do with uh, bi tools but that is out of scope uh, here it's a simple easy everyday kind of a uh, excel based dashboard this is what i have shown you so thank you very much. Thank you for being with me in this particular course. We have uh, came a long path. Uh, be safe, be happy, and try to use whatever you have learned in this marketing and discourse in your daily life. Keep practicing, that helps. Thank you very much. I will uh, see you in a different course probably, in some different set of videos. And 
let's have a very happy learning life